I'm Steph Strickland with GeekWire Studios here at AWS reInvent 2024, and we are about to experience the cloud with AMD. Let me introduce you right now to my guest, joined by Tim Bradford, the Senior Manager, Cloud Partner Sales at AMD. Thank you, Tim, for making the time to come down and talk oh, to me. Thanks for having me. How has AWS reInvent been for you? Very busy, very busy. It's, uh, you know, being responsible for our global channel program, all of my partners are here, so it's back to back to back meetings all week. Well, I appreciate you carving out some time in your very busy Happy schedule to, to talk to me because the thing that I'm keenly interested in is this Epic Advisory Suite. Can you explain to me what this is and what need it's serving? Yeah, glad to do it. Um, the Epic Advisory Suite is a set of tools that we've been developing over the past 10 or 12 months to really help our partner ecosystem guide their customers to more informed and fiscally sound decisions when it comes to deploying workloads in the cloud. The average end user doesn't know that they have a choice when it comes to compute in the cloud, but they have lots of choices, and those choices could have a huge impact on their operating expenses in the cloud. So, at altitude, I understand it. Let's get a little granular. Yeah. What does that mean when people are engaging in that interface? Yeah, so there's two main pieces to it. The, the cloud cost advisor, you can effectively um, take what you have on-prem, import that into uh, a, a spreadsheet template effectively, and we will give you like-for-like like comparisons of what you're running today, the AMD equivalent, and what the potential savings are by doing those conversions or landing on AMD. So you could do one instance at a time, you could upload a whole inventory. If you're further along in the cloud journey and you've been able to AWS for six months or six years, and you're now contending with the bill, you could effectively pull your per report, which is the cost usage report, and you can upload that whole inventory. And again, we'll give you three recommendations, the like for like, so if you're running on an x86 alternative today, we will give you the AMD variant that has the same amount of disks, same cores, same memory, and the cost savings associated with that. Across the board, we're 10 to 15% less expensive than X the other x86 alternatives that in North America, in other regions like Mumbai, we're 45% less expensive with no degradation on performance. In fact, most workloads, you're going to get improved performance. People are entering uh, into this at various different stages from a company perspective, um, small vendors, large vendors, and everywhere in between. How do you set your pricing model? Well, AWS actually sets a lot of that pricing model. You know, we have two different sides of the house at AMD. You know, one group sells into the cloud service providers, and then it's my job to make sure all of those checks gets, get consumed. So a lot of that is dictated by what the price point is uh, that AWS gets when they buy those large vats of processors from AMD. What would you like people to understand who are maybe in the C-suite uh, trying to make decisions about where to go next but find themselves a little bit trepidatious still uh, making these moves? Again, like most companies out there are contending with their cloud bill and you know the whole genesis of this advisory suite is from my own experience running a company that was entirely based on AWS and you know aside from my personnel, my AWS bill was my single largest operating expense. So anything I could do to rein that bill in was hugely important to me. So AMD came in, they did a free assessment for me, and you know, true to form, we, we didn't know the AMD variants were available. We were running on all the uh, the competitors' chips at the time. So you know, we started kind of dipping our toe in the water, saying this is too good to be true, this is too good to be true, make sure we don't lose any performance when we do that conversion, and sure enough, we saw improved performance on most of them, and the savings were instantaneous. After we were comfortable, we converted the entire environment, and we cut our bill by 12%, which means I, I could make payroll again, and uh, I could maybe sleep at night. But, uh, so anyway, that culminated in me doing a case study for the company, and uh, the result of that case study was a job offer, and I was end, at the end of my rope as an entrepreneur financially and physically. You know. Tim, that's actually an incredible story yeah. uh, because it goes to show that something like this uh, is driven by a very personal story that I think a lot of people, uh, if they're running companies, will appreciate. Right. Uh, so I definitely wish you the best of luck. I know that you carved out some time for us in this. And no, thank no, you thank for, you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I've I told appreciate. that story a million times. But, Not uh, to me, though. This is my first time <laughs> hearing it, and I love it. All the best. Thank you. you. Thank you. I'm Steph Strickland. You're watching GeekWire Studios.